Diamantidis, Albertis, Coach Vorvoras and uh, Nikos Papas called me and they were really straightforward to me. Uh, they only mentioned my basketball qualities and what I can bring to this team. Uh, I really felt that they want me here, uh, so it was not a hard decision for me at all. Uh, so uh, that means that Albert and Diamantidis were the main reasons maybe for your final decision? Uh, they were a big factor, for mm -hmm. sure. Big mm -hmm. factor when you see two legends like that, close to the team, close to the club, being every day in practice with us, uh, is huge. Uh, what coach Vovoras told you and convinced you to come and play? He offered me a, a position to be a leader, mm -hmm. to be a leader, to feel important. Uh, I'm 29 years old, I think I'm entering my best basketball years and uh, I'm more mature. I'm, uh, let's say, uh, with more experience every year and I think that will be, that will be crucial for my, for my success here in, in Panathinaikos. What do Panathinaikos fans uh, expect, from, expect from you? Uh, what uh, do you want to provide to this team? Uh, how can you be effective? Yeah, the last two years kind of, let's say everybody, everybody forgot about me. Uh, I had a lot of troubles with, with injuries my last two years. Uh, I didn't play my best basketball. I was not able to show my best basketball. And, you know, I have a lot, of, a lot to prove. Uh, first of all, they can ex uh, expect me uh, to, to, to be 100% dedicated to this team, to this club. Uh, I want to make the best out of the season mm -hmm. and then, you know, uh, hopefully we can stay together for many more years. Um, speaking of the injuries you, you said, uh, what is your answer for those who says that uh, Ned can't play the, the level he was uh, used to play? And secondly, uh, what's your condition right now concerning uh, the troubles you have? I don't have any answer for, for those people. Uh, I think uh, I will prove myself on the court and my playing will, will talk. Uh, my condition is great. Uh, mm -hmm. This whole uh, coronavirus situation was bad for everybody, but in some way it helped me because I had more time to work on my body. I had mm -hmm. five months to, to work on my body mm -hmm. and I think I did a good job. So knock on wood, uh, health is the number one priority for me this year. Uh, your primary uh, position is a shooting guard, but uh, in the other hand, that's because Panathinaikos doesn't have a pure point guard uh, in the team. Uh, I guess that's something that you will be asked to do, to be a secondary point guard uh, during the game. Are you ready for this? I like to facilitate off the ball, playing as a two, but if coach needs me to play point guard some games, I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. What's your personal goals uh, this year as well as uh, team goals? Uh, what will be success and uh, what will be failure in your mind? Failure, failure will be not giving 100% every, every game that we step on the court. I think uh, our average age is, is really, really low. We're a young team and our obligation is to, to go 100% every game. There's no excuses. Um, that would be, I think, the only failure. Uh, and then we have to set weekly goals. We cannot go and say, OK, we, we want to qualify for the final four or something like that. I think uh, the first goal should be to be in a position in Feb February, March to fight for the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, qualifying for the playoffs would be already great. And then we would see anything can happen. You signed, uh, you signed the contract for one year. Uh, that means that uh you, have to, you want to have a great season Panathinaikos and afterwards to find a better contract somewhere else or Oaka is the place that you want to stay here uh, for many years? L look, these four weeks that I've been here, I feel really, really comfortable. Like I lived here for four years, not four weeks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, anything can happen. Uh, like I said, my first goal is to stay healthy, help the team as much as possible, uh, play my best basketball again, and then we will see. I think it's too early to talk about, about those things. Uh, I should not be focused on that. I should be focused only on the court, and that's my, that's my goal. Uh, when you first uh, signed for Panathinaikos, you said something about Panathinaikos and Obradovic, that you used to watch uh, Panathinaikos for Obradovic. Uh, were you Panathinaikos fans because of Obradovic? Uh, uh, 
I can say that I was a fan of their basketball mm -hmm. because they were playing the best basketball in, in Europe for sure. Uh, it's kind of that uh, my generation in Serbia grew up on the successes of Panathinaikos, uh, especially in Euroleague. Uh, you know, Panathinaikos was the team you look up to uh, in, in, in uh, let's say, the last 20 years. So, for sure, I was a fan of, 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 of this style of basketball, of, of this team. And to represent it now is a great honor. How do you expect this season uh, concerning the pandemic? Uh, what scares you the most, maybe? Um, it will be strange, for sure. I still don't know how, what, what, the, strict, uh, what the protocols will be, but I'm, I'm sure that they will be really strict because you know, health is the number one priority. And we all have to work together to, to uh, not endanger anybody around us. So, you know, we still have to see how things will uh, evolve. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, this whole thing will uh, uh, be over soon and the fans can come back to, to watch the games because, you know, especially here, I think uh, empty gym and with fans is, is totally different. Uh, if you have to make a prediction for the top eight, what do you do? With? Top eight? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Madrid, Barca, Milano, us, Oli. Madrid, Barca, Milano, us, Oli, Cesca. I need two more, right? You said Barca? I need two more, so yeah, I said Barca. Um, let's say Kim Kimakabi.